Hello everyone, it's Julie and Mike here from RV Love and I can't believe it is almost the holidays already. Well, and especially because we're in Palm Springs and it's actually super nice outside. <laughs> right, it's a beautiful day here. We're away from the cold, but the closest we're gonna get to snow this year is, is my little snowflake necklace that I've worn, especially for this video because this is our holiday gift guide for 2019. We're not really ones for buying stuff that we don't need, but of course in our RV and traveling life, there are some things that definitely make it a lot more fun and a lot easier. And so there are a lot of things that we've been using the last year that you uh, may not be aware of. We wanted to share them with you guys. Maybe give you a bit of inspiration and ideas for some gifts for yourself or some others that you love. So you ready to dive in? Sure, let's jump in. First up is our Sea Gear Sand Free Patio Mat. And what we like about this is it's made out of a two-sided mesh material and it allows the sand, spine sand, to just fall right through it instead of sitting on top of it, which dramatically reduces the amount of sand we track into the RV. A couple other things I like about it is it has a lot of little eyelets to tie it down well. It's much lighter and packs up much smaller than our previous patio mats. These patio mats come in different sizes and colors. Ours is the blue and green and it's the eight foot by 20 foot large size. But after five and a half years of full-time travel and probably a half dozen different patio mats, this is definitely our favorite so far. This here is our Enofia dehumidifier and uh, this is something that was a very exciting purchase back in December when we were in Florida where it was super humid, raining a lot, just to help pull the moisture out of the air of the RV. It was really hard for towels to dry. It kind of felt, the air just felt clammy and it never really felt quite dry in the RV. And we're starting to get a little musty smell. So we got this, this has been fantastic at just keeping the RV feeling dry. This has got a bucket at the back that collects the water and it works really well. You can fill this bucket in something like four hours. Uh, it comes with the bucket or with this optional continuous drain hose. We found a little hole in the corner of our slide out through the slide seal so the hose would run out of the RV. So water was continuously draining out of this outside of the RV. So this has been awesome. Not very glamorous, but definitely it was probably my most exciting purchase for Christmas last year. So my newest toy and what I'm most excited about is this. This is a Mavic Mini. It's a drone. It's a super tiny. And I just have been absolutely loving this. It's one of the things I'm most excited about this year, even though I just got it. And what's exciting about this, we were recently wanting to downsize and simplify our photography equipment. So we've been shrinking things down. I used to have a Phantom 3 Pro, which was about five times the weight. And I used to carry it around in a huge suitcase. It was about the size of a carry, bigger than a carry-on suitcase. This is so small, it fits in my jacket pocket. It only weighs 249 grams or about the same weight as this avocado. Pretty amazing. This is the remote control. I've put my phone in with this as well. But that 249 gram weight means that you don't need to register it with the FAA in Canada or United States. Uh, so it also, it flies really well. The performance is very similar to my former drone. The only thing that some professional videographers might not like is that this drone only films in 2.7K or 1080, not in 4K. But we never used 4K in our previous drone anyway, so that was a total non-issue for me. It's a great drone for people who know and have experience with drones, but even for beginners, this one's excellent because it has a lot of things pre-programmed into the app that make it able to do very cinematic shots, fully automated by this with a couple touches on the app, on the phone while you're flying. Super cool. And in case you're wondering, we did get pre-approval to fly the drone here at the park today. So cool, so easy. I mean, some of these shots, I used to do all this stuff manually. Now, now it's just a couple quick clicks. Much easier shots for sure. Yeah, on top of that, this thing is super affordable. It's only 400 bucks, and it's one of the biggest leaps forward in drone technology that I have seen. I am super excited about this. So there's a saying in our RV, it's called dueling the phone, and that is when I kill my phone battery because I've overused it and don't have a charger around. So I had some other little portable external battery packs over the years and they just haven't lasted very well. 
until I got this My Charge Adventure Ultra, I think it's called. So this actually is really great because I've been able to do multiple charges of my iPhone with this. I don't think I've killed this thing yet. Uh, it's got a couple of buttons on the front here, as you can see, this turns it on. And this is when you're wanting to use 110 volt to charge something like a laptop, which is super handy to have this, to be able to charge a laptop when we're out and about. This is great for traveling and you know, airports can't always get access to those charges at the airport. Two USB-A ports here and one USB-C port. Uh, this has been fantastic. It's a little bulky, but it still fits in my handbag easily into a backpack. And pretty much we don't go out without this because I don't like being out of juice on my phone. So this next one's one of our fun adventure purchases from this summer. So this is our Intex K2 Explorer inflatable kayak. We were shopping around this summer, we were looking at a few different kayaks, but we wanted to, before we go and invest in a really expensive inflatable one, we thought we'd give it a try and go with this inexpensive one. This was only about 80 bucks, and it's a two-person kayak. Comes with the paddles, comes with the seats, and we actually had a really great time with it this summer. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to pump it up, and then we left it inflated the whole four weeks while we were in the area, taking it back and forth from the lake just by throwing it on top of the Jeep. And then when we were ready to pack it down to put it back in the basement, it only took about three minutes to deflate. But we were super happy with this, a lot of fun. And for the amount of money, a couple rentals, it's already paid for itself. So this year we actually started using a dashboard camera, also known as a dash cam. And this records the drive uh, with the date, the time, your GPS coordinates, uh, anywhere you're driving. So if there's ever a road incident, an accident or an emergency or something crazy happens on the road in front of you, this will capture it with a micro SD card. So this next base 422 dash cam comes with a touch screen and has Amazon Alexa built in. So you can play music, make calls or get directions without taking your hands from the wheel or your eyes from the road. It's also enabled for a Wi-Fi, GPS and an emergency SOS feature. That's with a subscription, which we don't have yet, but it's certainly handy to know that you can get that. And uh, we've been able to capture some pretty nice quality footage from the road actually, which uh, is easy to view and share uh, on the iPhone. This is a useful safety device and should we ever need evidence in the event of a road incident, but it also comes in handy as another device to capture our road footage if we want to integrate that in with our videos amidst our GoPro or other footage. It's just a great way to mix up our videos. This is really handy for our RV road trips as well as in the Jeep. Okay, next up, is our tire pressure monitoring system. This is one of my favorite things and one of my biggest regrets on not having one of these sooner. And ours is the TST 507 with the color monitor. We have six of the flow through sensors on our motorhome and we have four cap sensors on the Jeep. And so this shows on the RV and on the tow vehicle, rotates through every tire position, always know what the temperature and the pressure of every tire is at all times. It's huge for safety. It's also a really big time saver because before I used to be a real stickler on tire pressure monitoring and I check the tires every time before I drive. When you do that, you're letting out a little bit of air. So that also means that you have to pump up the tires really regularly. So this is a really big convenience and a really big safety feature. If you don't already have one, I would highly recommend. I've got a complete review on this, far more detail. We'll put a link for that down below as well. There's a few different places to buy this and, and some prices are better than others. Next up is our very own book, Living the RV Life, Your Ultimate Guide to Life on the Road. If you guys don't know about this yet, you must be new here to the channel because we actually wrote and published this book came out last November 2018, a little bit over a year ago now. Uh, it's already a bestseller, over 165 star reviews on Amazon and it's in its third print run. So above all, this book is packed, jam packed with information, photographs, RV case study profile stories, tips, links, resources to help you learn what you need to know to hit the road in an RV and be successful at it. This is where aspiration meets practical advice. So don't hit the road without a copy of Living the RV Life. And this is even a great gift for friends and family that think you're a little bit crazy because after reading this, they'll realize not only have you done your research, you have a plan, but they may be inspired to get out there and hit the road with you too. 
So the next up is our Dometic cooler. It's a CFX 35 and we've had this for a bit over a year and used it more than three times just this week. Once we wanted to go to the grocery store, but we're going to dinner afterwards. So it's nice to be able to keep our stuff cool in the car while we went to dinner. Another time we went to a friend's party, we we're able to take all of our cool things, including ice cream on a long drive over there. And then we were also able to loan it to some friends to keep some things cool while they swapped out their fridge. We love to take this on long road trips because we don't need to keep ice in the cooler. It's, it runs on either 12 volt or if you have an inverter, you can run it on 120 volts. A lot of people keep these in their basement storage of their RVs to be able to keep as a beverage cooler to have them constantly running. It has a huge range on the temperatures. You can actually take this down to minus seven degrees so you can keep things in a deep freeze for extended periods of time. It's pretty lightweight, and when you show up at a campsite, it's actually a really comfortable place to sit as well. Okay, this may be the best gift you ever give to yourself is a good night's sleep. We actually have a custom mattress for our motorhome. This is the second one, and we had the exact same mattress in our first motorhome, but of course, when we sold it, it went with it. This motorhome didn't come with a mattress, so the first thing we did was call Mattress Insider and get another identical custom mattress ordered to exactly how we like it in terms of firmness and comfort, sleep temperature, all of that kind of a thing. Uh, you can order them over the phone, and then they ship them rolled up directly to your house or RV or campground wherever you are free shipping and we've done a couple of videos in this explaining all of the different layers of foam and how it works when we're at their showroom in Denver but also the unboxing video when we got this one which is pretty cool to watch how it arrives and how it um how it comes out of the box and just bursts out and then in not inflates but it kind of expands with the foam so we have loved this this has been really great for Mark he used to have back pain and now that he's sleeping on this much better always get a great night's sleep with this mattress and it's normally 10% off year round so you can use the code uh, RVLOVE to get 10% off year round but just for December 2nd, 3rd and 4th of 2019 it's an extra 5% off so 15% off a custom mattress which is a pretty awesome deal but this this is definitely one of my favorite things in the RV. Alright, next up is this Best Tech Worldwide Travel Adapter, Charger and Converter. We just got back from a couple of weeks in Australia and our travel chargers didn't cut it and it just it just it just didn't work very well. So this comes with three outlets and they're nicely spaced apart so you can have big charging heads on there. It also has four USB ports here. This is the European charger, but this easily plugs into these adapters. This is for the US, just turn it around and that's Australian, so how cool is that? Two in one, and I think this one, I'm not sure it might be from Asia or Japan or something. But with this combination, you can travel and charge to over 150 countries. So you can't use this for heating appliances like straightening irons, hair dryers, coffee makers, that kind of a thing, but it's perfect for charging all of our electronics, our phones, electric toothbrush, headphones, cameras, laptops, and it all comes together in a handy drawstring bag to keep it all together. So one of the best things about the RV lifestyle is the variety of the places that you can stay in your RV. And one of the best programs for that that we know of is Harvest Host. We've been members for a lot of years and have had some really great experiences with that. We've stayed at wineries, we've stayed at organic farms, we've stayed at animal farms, we've stayed uh, we've watched the fireflies along the vineyard, and we've also had a really great time meeting with the hosts of this program as well. So it's been a lot of fun. It's really about the experiences more than the cost savings, because generally when you stay somewhere, you're going to want to contribute to that proprietor, buying some wine, buying some produce, something like that. But it's a really great program, and right now they have a discount. Throughout the year, you can save 15%. We'll put a link down below, but you, right now until December 31st, you can save 20% and lock in that price for the remainder of the time you hold that membership. So whether you're buying it for yourself or as a gift for someone else, now is a really good deal. Cheers. The gorgeous book, Comfortably Wild, by Mike and Anne Howard of Honey Trick. These guys have been traveling on a never-ending honeymoon for years now, and they've put together this beautiful book. Mike's a professional photographer, Anne's a writer, and this book is gorgeous. In this book, they've covered the best glamping destinations in North America. Over 70 glamping destinations across nine countries and 80 extra getaways 
by region all are in this North America glamping directory. But it's not just places, it's all about the kinds of experiences that you can have that make it really, really unique. This is an absolutely gorgeous book. We're loving reading it. We're already dreaming about some of the other glamping experiences we're going to have when we're having a little break away from our RV life. So we've got plenty for gifts and we think you're going to love it too. We've bought a lot of different roadside flares over the years, but these ones are our current favorite. These are made by Hokina and they're really cool little discs. I like that they have this rubbery coating, it makes them really durable. It's got a plastic waterproof container inside that actually even float, but they're super durable. I also like that you can pull out this back thing and prop them up on the next to your car. They have a magnet, they stick to your car really bright you can see them up to a mile away and depending which of the nine settings you use it can last up to 35 hours on one set of batteries so it's great for your car your boat or even if you're just hiking it'd be a really great safety tool to be able to let people know where you are and keep you safe this is the three pack has three of the discs it also has a car escape tool this is to break the glass this is a seat belt cutter so these Hakana LED roadside flares are a big upgrade from the ones we had before. Okay, it's ready to do the quick release on my Instant Pot, but that's not what I'm showing you today, even though I love my little Instant Pot uh, Duo 3 quart. This is called a Potheads Steam Diverter. It's a silicon bird that goes on the top of the Instant Pot over here and diverts the steam away and out the window instead of up under the cabinets and into the RV to help reduce steam coming into a small environment like an RV. So, I'll show you how it works. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Can you see the steam? There we go. So this is a really handy and inexpensive uh, steam diverter for yourself or for a gift like a stocking stuffer. And it comes with a little stand, so you can just uh, sit on uh, your countertop when you're uh, wanting to use it. So. Well, if you're new to our channel, you might not know, we also have an online school that we created about two and a half years ago to be able to create a focused learning environment to help people learn how to RV and get the road with confidence. We've had hundreds of people save thousands of dollars with our online school. It's all self-paced and it's on its dedicated platform, rvsuccessschool.com. And during the holiday season, we also are offering a coupon for 20% off. The coupon code is HOLIDAY20. I think it's time for a glass of wine. So these glasses uh, we got, I think about six months ago now, we absolutely love them. It's kind of noisy, isn't it? It's okay, I like that sound. Thanks, honey. So what we love about these glasses is not only are they really nice to drink out of being real Bavarian crystal, they actually have a magnet embedded in the bottom here of the base of each glass. And this wine glasses, champagne glasses, beer, whiskey glasses, uh, even tumblers. Not only do they stay secure on a specially designed magnetic type coaster, you can mount them in your RV or in your boat or anywhere. So it's a really great storage solution as well. So as you would have seen, I had them hanging vertically upside down underneath our kitchen cabinet, which keeps them out of the way, keeps them protected, and they're super easy to access. We've gone over some pretty big bumps in this RV and driven some rough roads, and they have not moved at all. We've had cupboards fly open with things fly out of the cupboards, but we haven't had any issues with the glasses at all. So they're really great to drink out of and a really great storage solution. So I love drinking out of real glass from time to time, and I think these are a really great gift idea too. Cheers to that. Cheers. Hope you guys enjoy this little trip through all of the favorite gear or some of the favorite gear that we use here in our RV life. Of course, this stuff isn't specific to Christmas or the holidays or anything like that. No. This is stuff that's great for all year round, uh, but just thought it might give you a little bit of inspiration if you're doing some shopping for yourself or for loved ones. And some of the special uh, codes that we've shared too are actually available year round with a couple of uh, bonus deals for this holiday season. Right, and remember we do have a lot of extra detail over at the yes. blog for this 
this. So go to head over to rvlove.com and check out the blog. Some of those are time sensitive sales mm -hmm. over there. We'll put the link down below and links direct to all of these items down in the description as well. So with that, we hope you ha are having a fantastic holiday season. If you've got any questions at all, please put them down in the comments below. We'd love to answer them for you. But um, until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. And happy, happy holidays. holidays. Is it easy to get to? Um, not right now, no. And this one is for other countries. I'm not sure which ones. I've not been to this country. This is our Intex Tandem Kayak. Inflatable. You have to tell them it's inflatable. We love RVing, but we also love other kinds of destinations. All right, so I think we're gonna have to take this video inside because we've had a lot of people walking by, we've had multiple vehicles starting up and driving, we've got people parking their RVs in the distance, and the wind started kicking up, and the light started changing with the clouds, so. Well, that's a suction mount too, but this one actually has the little, uh, <laughs> messing this one up, aren't I? My tire pressure manually before every drive, and by doing so, what? <laughs> Woo! I don't think I've ever had the wine come popping out. Like it's like blood. I don't know, you know. <laughs> Too much coach? I don't know if that's going to be. just going to become an actor. You would be broke. I would. Yeah.